Hey guys, what's up? It's Charlie here and today we're going to be looking at 10 people who had extreme surgeries. Have you ever looked at someone or something and thought, yeah, I want to look like that? This was likely a passing thought, but some people actually go ahead and do it. These are people who will make your draw drop with the extreme surgeries they had to change their appearances. Before we begin, be sure to subscribe and press the notification bell too. Coming in at number 10 we have Justin Bieber. Now Justin Bieber appears to be liked by everyone and his music seems to be liked by people male, female, old and young. However back in 2010 it was cool to not like Bieber and nobody wanted to look like him. We all remember the embarrassing photos of ourselves rocking the Bieber haircut. However back in 2012 it became one man's quest to turn into Justin Bieber. Toby Sheldon was 35 from Hollywood and wanted to look exactly like his idol. He showed his plastic surgeon a picture of Bieber circa 2010 and said make me into that. He then spent over $100,000 turning his face, hair, eyes, nose, lips, and just about anything else into that of Justin Bieber's. He says Justin's extraordinarily beautiful and simply wanted to emulate the look. When it hit the headlines he'd done this, people were shocked and mocked him a lot. He later appeared on the E! show Botched in 2014, which is a show about people who had bad plastic surgeries. However, this man's tale gets even stranger. He began to try and launch his own career as a pop star, however this didn't take off. And in 2015, he went missing after breaking up with his boyfriend of two years. And sadly, days later, he was found to have passed away at Motel 5 in Hollywood after consuming substances. Next up is French Doll. So we've seen one man turn into another person using surgery, but what about turning into an inanimate object? In Japan, it's a popular trend to get eyelid surgery to look more western. It's very quick and easy, and some people have been known to get it done in their lunch hour. Well, in 2013, one Japanese model named Vanilla Shamu, not her real name, decided to transform totally into a French doll. This included bleaching her skin so she's Caucasian. She also reconstructed her nose, lips, face, and dyed her hair ginger. And of course, got the very popular eyelid surgery that many Japanese women get. She spent over 10 million yen or $100,000 on over 30 plastic surgeries and still plans to have more. She wants to be a model and says she likes her new western appearance a lot more. But as I said, she's not done on her quest to look like the most weird, uh, I mean western person ever. She says she's still going to do liposuction, eyelash implants, dimple creations, and massive cheek implants. And the most extreme and dangerous surgery yet, height lengthening surgery. Now that really does sound like something from a horror movie. She began her transformation at just 17 and is currently working in bars as a pop star. She has the scary glazed eyes of a French doll which are very creepy. And her more recent procedures have actually been filmed live on Japanese TV as she plans to make herself famous due to her huge amount of surgeries. Next up is Grandmother. Millions of regular people get plastic surgery every year. One of the main reasons people do this is to keep their looks and look younger. But have you ever heard of anyone getting plastic surgery to look older? Anne Bolton from Bristol UK got plastic surgery to make her look older. Now, there is a reason behind this, but I'm not sure how good of a reason it is. You see, she became a grandma at the age of 47. This led to things like her son being mistaken for her boyfriend a lot, which annoyed her. She was also constantly being flirted on by much younger men in their 20s. Now, you might think this would be complimentary, or at least a good thing to have younger men interested in you. However, Anne says this has ruined a marriage and two other long-term relationships she's had. She also says her friends are jealous of her and have abandoned her as she makes them look old. She says all the attention from young guys was flattering at first, but soon got bored. Boring. So Anne got what she calls the inverse of Botox to add a few wrinkles to her face. She claims she even got called a gold digger one time as she was with someone who looked like an older man, when really she was the older one. She says she has nothing in common with younger guys who ask her out, which drives her mad, which is why she needed the surgery. What do you think about Anne's surgery and her reasons for it? Some call her self-obsessed and desperate for attention, while others say it could be a problem for her when it comes to relationships. Next up is Superman. As kids, we likely all wished we were Superman at some point. Well, one man actually decided to go ahead and do it. Of course, when Clark Kent went to transform into Superman, it was pretty easy. He would simply step into a phone box and it would be done. But for 35-year-old Herbert Chavez, it has not been that simple. The man from the Philippines has spent close to $8,000 to look like the real-life Superman. It took him 19 surgeries spanning 16 years from 1995 to 2012 to complete his transformation. He's had nose jobs, skin whitening, lip liposuction, didn't know that was a thing, jaw realignment, pec implants, and ab implants to become the real-life Clark Kent. He'd wanted to do it ever since the age of 5 years old when he saw Superman on TV. As I said, we all wished things when we were 5, but we usually grow out of them. But for this man, this is not the case. 
face, and he really did it. He spent a fortune on the surgery, 300,000 pesos, which is about 11 years of wages in the country. He often dresses as Superman when he's at home, and sometimes when he goes out on the streets. You may think this is odd, and perhaps it is, but on the bright side, he does aim to teach kids morals and brighten their day. He says he feels like a real-life superhero when he puts on his suit, as he makes people's days better. And in case you guys aren't convinced that this guy's a Superman superfan, he also has the world record for the largest collection of Superman memorabilia. He has an entire room in his house dedicated to growing his collection of over 1400 items. Next up is Kim Kardashian. We've seen people who have got plastic surgery to look like celebs already on this list. Now that is odd, but the reasons behind this one in particular make it seriously strange. Myla Sinaja is the ex-girlfriend of Chris Humphreys who later went on to be Kim Kardashian's husband for a grand total of 72 days. Well it seems Myla got kind of jealous, because in 2013 she decided to turn into Kim Kardashian. According to TMZ, she got a top plastic surgeon named Dr. Matthew Shulman to perform a ton of surgeries on her to make her look like Kim K. She got tired of being called the fat version of Kim Kardashian, so she decided to match her body. She says she's obsessed with Kim's body and wants her own body to be the same. She spent over $30,000 on a long list of surgeries all modelled after Kim. This includes to name but a few, lips, lip injections, and a chest enhancement. She says she wants the haters who criticize her body to eat their words. A few years back, a photo with her without any clothes was on leaked, and she got a lot of nasty comments about her body. Perhaps that and her split with Chris Humphreys caused her to totally change up her body and make it like Kim K. Next up is Barbie Doll. If you're a girl, chances are you played with Barbie dolls as a kid. But did you ever want to become a Barbie doll? As we pointed out, many little boys want to become Superman, and the same thing is true for Barbies amongst girls. Well, one woman named Valeria Lukyanova from Ukraine did just that. The 32-year-old model and entertainer spent $30,000 on surgery to look like a human Barbie doll. She has large eyes, a perfect face like a doll, and long blonde hair. She claims she looks the same as she did when she was 14. She dreams of one day becoming a professional singer and DJ, and hopes her Barbie appearance will help with this. She says she only eats fish and fruit juice to keep her thin as Barbie. However, she actually finds the name Human Barbie insulting, despite many people nicknaming it her online. She's become somewhat of an online celebrity thanks to her looks, and now has over 60,000 followers on Instagram. Some say she looks as amazing as a real-life doll, while others say she looks plain weird. Do you find her doll aesthetic hot or not? Next up is Angelina Jolie. This is an image going viral on the internet right now. Sahar Tabar from Iran is only 19, but has had over 50 surgeries to make her look like her idol Angelina Jolie. She says she uses technology, surgery, and makeup to create the look that stunned millions. She has a very popular social media account where she posts selfies with her cats. She looked like a totally normal Iranian teen beforehand, but now she looks totally different. Some, critici some criticize her new looks, while others say her plastic surgery does the right job. She used to have much smaller lips and plumper cheeks before the surgery. However, now her face is turning her into a social media star with over 70,000 followers. She wears blue contact lenses, has sharp cheeks, and a very pointed nose and sunken cheeks. Her goal is to become a Hollywood actress like Angelina one day. She's lost over 40 kilograms of weight in the space of a few months to complete her Angelina look. One of her Instagram followers says she looks like a zombie now. Do you think Sara could give Angelina a run for her money, or not so much? One thing's for sure, this is one extreme surgical makeover. Next up is Ryan Gosling. This is yet another case of somebody trying to turn into a celebrity. We all know it can be tough to break into the acting world and go pro. So if you don't think you have what it takes to become a famous actor, just emulate the look of one. Nicholas Ryan, who's 32 from New Jersey, is an aspiring actor. He wasn't getting much work, which is when he saw how much work Ryan Gosling was getting. He then spent $5,000 on Botox and fillers to make his face look exactly the same as Ryan Gosling's. However, as you probably know, there's a lot more to acting than just looking the part. You have to play it too, and well. He also says he hopes it will improve his chances with women. You just better hope they haven't heard about all your Botox beforehand. Despite being called Nicholas Ryan, his stage name is Ryan Nicholas to complete the effect of Ryan Gosling. He says he's secretly excited to see how much women will think he looks like Ryan Gosling. He got his surgery done by another top Hollywood plastic surgeon named Tim Nevin. He also managed to make his jawbone far more defined like Gosling's. What do you think of Nicholas's new look? Is it like Gosling or not? Or is it better? Next up is Jessica Alba. On the subject of people transforming into celebs, Jessica Alba, don't think you're safe. We've covered how many Asian women try to be more Western with plastic surgery. Well, in 2010, a 21-year-old Chinese woman named Xiao Qing broke up with her ex-boyfriend. She wanted him back and knew his favorite actress was Jessica Alba. So she spent a lot of cash and time transforming her looks into that of Jessica Alba's. She dyed her hair blonde and bleached her skin white. She also underwent eyelid surgery and even got a nose and lip job. She says before they broke up, he gave her a blonde wig and asked her to wear it all the time. Time. Yeah, I thought she was odd, but that ex-boyfriend sounds awful. Anyway, this made her totally dye her hair blonde after they split to desperately get him back. She says she's psychologically weak and seems
seems to always need a boyfriend. But it looks like despite all the stuff she tried to do to win her ex back, she's still single. But in all serious, Xiao Ching, if you're watching, what's your phone number? Next up is Ken doll. So, we've already seen the real life version of the Barbie doll, Valeria Lukyanova from Ukraine. Well, we all know that every Barbie doll needs a male Ken doll counterpart. Well, Rodrigo Alves is a plastic surgery addict. He spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on his looks and still does today. In 2017, he spent $373,000 on his face and teeth to make it look exactly how he wants. He also spent $19,000 on feminizing his hairline. So, his face may look how he wants, but what about getting the body he wants? Most people put in hours at the gym to achieve this, but Rodrigo thought, why not just buy it? So in 2017, he spent $22,000 on fake abs and showed them to paparazzi while shopping at The Grove in LA. I have no idea where he gets all his money from, but suffice to say, it seems it all goes on his looks. What do you prefer, the Barbie doll or the Ken doll? I'm not really sure. Check out the poll in the top right corner to vote for the most extreme surgery. And be sure to check out my second channel, The Crafty. There'll be a video for The Crafty coming up on screen in a second, so definitely click it and subscribe too. But as always, thanks for watching. Check out some more videos on screen right now. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Top 10s.